say something about history. This is really a, a historic occasion uh, for Richmond. This, this spot right here where these wigwags are is actually where Richmond started. It is, it is where the first street in Richmond crossed the first railroad track in Richmond. And from there, it went out. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not, but it's a damn good story. And I'm sticking by it. So, um, another couple of things about the history of the wigwags. Uh, you know, these wigwags served uh, very well for many, many years, for decades and decades, maybe maybe, a, maybe almost a hundred years. And uh, at one point, the uh, railroad decided that they had to be changed out for the crossing arms you see now. 16 years ago, the uh, BNSF Railway wanted to uh, demolish them and remove them as, a, as an obstacle in the, in the face of the modern ones. And the, the citizenry of Richmond rose up and said, no way, you must save our wigwags. And so they started a restoration fund, and it's been uh, 16 year, long years before they could be restored for everybody to enjoy. Well, the restoration cost us a total of about $2,000 uh, for the parts and materials and the labor of uh, Mr. Dan uh, Furtado, the wigwag wizard. What did it take to do a restoration of this? Uh, disassembly, a lot of old paint to remove, many layers of paint. <laughs> um, clean them up and then repaint them. Um, mechanically, electrically, they've been completely restored. Um, had to make a few parts myself for them. How long did it take to do all this? Um, almost a year. What's so special is that they're a piece of living history. They, these are the last remaining wigwags in, in the vertical um, uh, formation where they're coming up from a base rather than hanging down. And they're the only two uh, remaining in North America that were allowed to stay in place after the modern um, railroad crossing arms were installed. These are made in the 20s. Um, they were probably installed in the 30s, though. Um, it was illegal to install them after the 40s. I feel amazing that we are here in the presence of working wigwags for so uh, long of a wait and so much energy that the um, you know, members of the community put together to make it happen. Now this is great. It got, gets, the, gets the town together and you know, it's a fun little community event.